G'day everyone, BH here. We're we'll going to do the unboxing of this Dell Active Pen PN557W. Now let's get on with the unboxing. I will also be doing a jitter test near the end of this so you can actually see how this performs. So let's just break it out and see what's actually in here. Okay, first off, we got a quadruple A battery, and you should see some extra batteries on there for the top part of it. Look at the pen itself, some documentation here and a lanyard here as well too let's just chuck all these documentation out of the way all right we don't really need the lanyard at the moment so let's unpack the box itself now this pen has got 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity so that's quite nice and it's also is magnetic as well so now let's try and unbox this one so you just unscrew the top part here First off, we need to go look down to the very bottom, near where the springs are. There's actually a, it's hidden away, and you just could try and put your little tips on the top line of it. Just use, just purely use friction itself, and just keep twisting it anti-clockwise, and you'll get this part out. So this is part, this is the battery for the top part here. So let's kind of unscrew this one here. So once we've got the battery out, so the top part here, which is where you could find these. A little bit of these you know you gotta have the, the positive facing upwards so basically the flat end facing upwards of this battery awesome then you can put then you can roll this back onto inside and again just hold on more closer to the spring itself and then you can then tighten it back into there uh, I don't kind of like this mechanism that Dow has put in. Uh, I've had times where I've just fiddled around with it. Here we go, I'm going to fiddle around with it again. And hopefully just friction by itself of my fingers holding a very little of the spring itself. Should we get to tighten? Awesome. So now let's go put the main battery in, the AAA. So again, having positive down forward and pretty much just screw that along. All right, and that's pretty much ready to go. Now to turn it on, you, you just pretty much press the sound here and you'll see there's actually an active light here. So I'll just press that on. And when you press it on, hold it down, it will actually go, when it's blinking, it is currently in searching mode for Bluetooth. So once we paired it up, now you, it's a good idea to actually install the active pen control panel, uh, which is off the Dell website for this. The PN557W goes for $80 on the Dell Australian website. And in the US website for Dell, it's going for $65. Now, this pen is also magnetic, as you can see. It just pretty much just clips on as well, too. So it's, it's nice that it's magnetic as well. So this is the Dell Active Pen Control Panel. And it's a good idea to install this so you can actually customize all the buttons there. So on the top button here, you have a single press. By default, it is set to ink space and you can actually change to anything down here. There's actually quite a number of options. Uh, you can do a double press, and at the moment it's set to screen sketch, but once I'm in the software, you won't be able to do it. Uh, and long press is holding down, and that will usually bring up Cortana. But again, you can you, it's all customizable there. And then when we're talking about the top barrel and bottom barrel, this is referring to the two buttons down here. So the top area and the bottom area so you can actually again customize what these buttons do as well uh, and then you can also change the sensitivity uh, down here as well too and of course on top there we've actually got a battery indicator on how much battery is left in the pen and they do say it's around about 12 months uh, for the battery to last on these pens so let's do the jitter test for this now I've got this Dell active pen paired to this Dell latitude 72021 now I'm not an artist, so I'm going to do my best to do diagonal lines slowly. I'm just doing the jitter test here, or the line test. It's also known as a wobble test, I've been told. More like arm wobbling, more than this device is wobbling. Alright. I'll do some quick ones. Quick one seems to be okay, doesn't it? So I'm going to do some horizontal lines, slow horizontal lines. And 
and let's just draw some circles. Looks to be alright. I'll just draw some very slow circles. Now in Photoshop this does support depression sensitive, so I'm just going to do some swiggy lines and I'll just do it light, hard, light, hard, light, hard, light, hard. Let me try and make this a little bigger just so you can see that. I'm just going to add a new layer, remove the old one, so it's a little bit lighter, so I'm light, hard, light, hard, light, hard, light, hard, no, I'm not very good at that as you can see but that's probably me just missing this part here it was just me taking off the pen of the off the screen. Now in Photoshop let's just see if this thing has tilt, I'm just going to find a tilt one here, alright so this is rotation, it doesn't seem to do any rotation here, uh, tilt, no it doesn't have tilt here as well. Now I do have this new 5790X, now this is one that does have support tilt, you will see, so that supports tilt, but the 5570 does not support tilt in Photoshop. Now in Krista I've got the basic 5, now suppose it's got pressure already in there, so in the basic brushes can it do pressure? No, I was just putting hard, soft, hard, soft, hard. So it doesn't look like it can work with the pressure for in Krista. And we'll just do the jitter test in Krista to see how it performs. So again, I'll just do slow diagonal lines here. quick ones. Going to give you a quick preview of the next video I'll be doing and that is the Lenovo ThinkPad X390 Yoga. Now this yoga is a two-in-one so which means it can pretty much flip and become a tablet. So be sure to check that video out right after this. Hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like if you haven't done already hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel i do try to upload a new video every tuesdays and fridays and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you in the next video